Hey everyone, so I just wanted to make a quick video about the difference between slow twitch muscle fiber and fast twitch muscle fiber. Now, if you're an endurance athlete who loves running, walking long distance, who's into cycling, then to support all these sort of activities, you require slow twitch muscle fibers. Now, slow twitch muscle fibers are type 1 muscle fibers that support long distance running and walking. So, the very reason that slow twitch muscle fibers support long distance running or walking is because they carry a lot of myoglobin and mitochondria. Now myoglobin is something that carries oxygen to your muscle cells wherein your mitochondria will actually make use of this oxygen to produce energy that's ATP energy molecules and these slow twitch muscle fibers are fatigue resistant it means that you don't get tired easily with all these daily activities that you do in general so the major fuel for slow twitch muscle fiber is fat yes your slow twitch muscle fibers make use of fats to produce energy now when it comes to your fast twitch muscle fibers it's basically divided into two types again type 2a and type 2b now type 2a muscle fibers helps you with producing that quick energy that you need to lift heavy weights so these muscle fibers actually make use of the stored phosphocreatine and glycogen now glycogen is basically the stored energy in your body this muscle helps you with producing that energy that you need to lift heavy weights the very reason that your fast twitch muscle fibers have more power is because they contract 10 times faster than your slow twitch muscle fibers. Now, when it comes to type 2B muscle fiber, it helps your body with high intensity exercise, powerlifting, sprinting, deadlifts, squats. Your muscles will predominantly make use of this fiber to help you with all these high intensity exercises that you perform. Now, it's not something that you're born with slow twitch muscle fibers or fast twitch muscle fibers. You can always help your muscles adapt to fast twitch or slow twitch depending upon the intensity of exercise you perform. Now, you can always train your fast twitch muscle fibers by lifting heavier weights at a moderate pace. So make sure that you get most out of your exercise. Hope this was informative. If you like the content, please like, share and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please put it in the comment section below.